Uh, you wouldn't know it's supposed to be springtime. Uh, you can hear the wind going out there. The weatherman says, well, it might be spring, it might not be. Calendar says it is, but we're nearing the end of March, which means we got to get moving on these seeds now. we got a lot of things on the go today, but the priority for today is going to be getting some seeds in the ground. And by ground, I mean in a pod. And by pod, I mean in a tray. You know where this is going, right? I went to Home Hardware in town here, and I found this. This is a 72 seed or 72 pod starter kit. Uh, all of this peat here, this is peat moss, comes in this puck. And they're all sitting individually in the tray. Again, you add water and it expands to about an inch and a half, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to fill this up. Now, I know Jen's got a bunch of flowers she wants planted because you put them in the garden. It helps keep the bugs away. And also, she wants flowers for the front. 72 pods I'm guessing we're probably going to need a couple more of these things because we plant a lot of vegetables and why do we plant a lot of vegetables well march yourself to any grocery store in Ontario or in Canada or and or probably the United States wherever you're watching this and uh, you'll see the price of food there's nothing better than being able to walk out your door into the backyard and grab a tomato grab a cob of corn grab some lettuce or a cucumber and take it in the house and eat it you can buy the seeds pretty much anywhere However, the seeds that we're going to plant today are from last year that we harvested out of the tomatoes and cucumbers and some watermelons and pumpkins, all kinds of things. We harvested all the seeds out of one of them. So the plant produces plenty of vegetables, but you're only keeping one to harvest the seeds out of. Then you're not buying seeds the next year. So we're going to get started on this. We're going to have a look at what we got to do here. Now, guys, we don't read instruction manuals. But because I'm alone in the shop here, we're going to have a quick look. A quick look. We're not going to read it word for word detail, but we're going to have a quick look at the instructions. I think I can handle that without screwing it up. You know that, right? I know that. I've got a feeling Jen's not going to let me do it. i got a feeling she's going to do it. Let's, get, let's be honest here. This is all my wonderful idea, all these gardens and stuff. She's the one that does the work. I will not dispute that for a second. I'll pull some weeds here and there and pick some vegetables here and there, but she is the one that does all the work when it comes to the garden. This is what it looks like. Got all these individual pods. The pod expands, then you put your seed in it, then you let it do its thing. And yes, we're late. We should have been doing this a week and a half ago. That would be all her fault. That was busy. Yeah. That's okay, right. We just need to get probably another one of those. Is that enough or still not enough? I think they'll all sit back down in there. Yeah. So it says in about five to ten minutes. You said in five to ten minutes. Oh, he seems starting to swell up oh, yeah, already. Oh, starting already. Yeah. Do you think that's enough water to? Um. It says an inch to an inch and a half. Should I do a little more? Yeah. I I get, just... Oh, did you get cold water? No, it was warm. Oh no, it's cold. I can tell because mine was warm. It's supposed to be warm water. Well, nobody's saying warm water, cold water. What's the difference? But you can see these are starting to swell already. Now they're going to grow, and they have a skin on top of them. I'm not quite sure what that's called. We're going to call it a skin. And you just put your seed in there, and then it germinates on its own. in here these are about an inch inch and a quarter tall roughly uh, and as you can see all the pods are encased in a skin with a hole in the top you know put our we're gonna end up putting our seeds in there so now we've drained the excess water off now she's gotta go through and open up now there's an opening in all the tops but I don't think it's uh no, I'm pretty sure wide it's enough a, oh, it, we did bring it up it, said, it did say to open up the yeah tops. it said to peel it back I thought it meant well, I thought it was gonna peel right off but it doesn't uh but you don't want to take the skin all the way off here because then your dirt's just going to fall all over the tray. This is just to keep them individual so that when they do sprout, you can take them out here and put them right in a bigger pot. Well, that was a little more 
tedious than it looked like on camera in the time lapse but Jen's got all these pulled open here now we're going to start planting our seeds in there I think you do two seeds per pod and see what comes up really press them in just cover them with the the first one she's planting is the alyssum. I call it asylum <laughs> the alyssum so they're going to go in the garden and they're going to help keep some of the bugs away but look how small the seeds are. <laughs> Definitely more than that. Uh, so you're obviously going to get more than two, two three. in a pod. <laughs> Watch your hand. I just did them seeds are, well, these are snapdragons and they're so small. Well, yeah, the seeds are, it's just like a... It's impossible to get two seeds in a pod. It's okay, maybe they're that small. get lucky. And... So here's the first for us. This is a zinnia. Mm-hmm. I think we want them little, it looks like wheat shafts there. Mm -hmm. Chaffs, shafts, whatever you call it. Yeah. Well, because I don't know, like that's got to be your oh, seeding yeah, that's part, a, that's... right? That's your seed part, I guess, right? Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have that grow <laughs> well, everywhere. Well, well, zinnia's grown everywhere too, whatever. That's all right, just put it in there, whatever pops up, we'll take. Well, see, I think I didn't do it right when I did it in the garden last year when I put them in or I planted them too late, one of the two. <laughs> So these are called four o'clock so these are just going in the yard right yep these are just for purely for well, thankfully we're dealing with a little bigger it's actually seed. a seed not a well i guess the other ones are seeds too just you just are you putting two in one yeah that's what they said you want to just put one hole in each one? Oh, all right well then i'll just do two rows of them then. oh boy <laughs> well the marigolds kind of look like okay. this I'm just going to push them in there yep. with the pencil. Yeah, that's the easiest way to do it. I, think. I can't get them in there with my fingers. <laughs> Too long. Oh, <laughs> that marigold's grown out every pot in there. It's okay. All right. These are the marigolds, and from here over are all flowers. Like I said, some are going in the garden, some are going to front flower bed. Now, we're going to do vegetables. These. Tomatoes? Yeah, I got okay. tomatoes here. Yeah. These are our own peppers. Uh, multicolored bell peppers, those are ours too. More pepper seeds, and here's the tomato seeds. Not sure how well they're going to do. They look like they're all pretty much dried out, but maybe they kind of come back. Yeah, but you want them to be dried out anyhow. Yes, we do. That's what they tell you to do. Okay. Them, right? so what do you want to do first? multicolored ones. These, this says you can put two in one hole. Whichever one goes, goes. Who says that? They, you said that? They no, do. okay. As you said, this says it, so I thought maybe. Uh, <laughs> you got the marigold over here. We don't need marigolds in the peppers. She needs to mind her own business. <laughs> All right, so we've got two rows of peppers. We're going to do one more roll of peppers. Yeah, we might as well. One more roll of peppers, and then we're going to do tomatoes. In a couple of weeks, we'll do another roll of peppers and tomatoes in another in another tray. That way, they come in at a later time. Mm -hmm. So these two are our seeds from last year, right? Yep. These ones are too. I'm not sure which... Uh... Which one are there? That's because the guy that collected them didn't label them properly. No, it's hard to get good help. Easiest way to get seeds, get your own. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> They're kind of. All right, Jen's got them all loaded. These are our flowers. Yeah, I heard teledens here. That's the marigolds. What a mess those are. And we got two tomatoes. And we got three peppers. Now we got to put them in the dark in a warm spot until they sprout. Or no, it said until it gets leaves on it. Is that what it is? Yeah. I didn't know. Until it gets leaves. Well, there you go. Time to save yourself some money. If you don't have a big, big backyard, or even if you got a small backyard or no backyard, get yourself a five-gallon pail, put some dirt in it, put a tomato plant in it, put a pepper plant in it, put a cucumber plant in it. Uh, if you got room for two, plant one of each. I mean, it's you're trying to save yourself some money. Folks, it's not getting any better. It doesn't matter. And I don't get political on this channel at all. 
but there comes a time when you have to say enough is enough and I got to do what I got to do, which means you're going to start growing your own food. If you've got a big yard, all the better. If you don't, get yourself a sizable pot and grow it that way. Put it in a window, put it on a patio, put it on a deck, put it on whatever you got to put it on, but grow your own food, save yourself some money because the food at the grocery store is not getting any cheaper. All right, rant's done. Thanks you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here. We'd love to have you along. Later. Look, I was just talking 100 mile an hour there. Whew, I'm going to warm myself up. Got a little lightheaded.